Today I'll be talking a little bit about a venture company I discovered a little bit more than a year ago. It's called Topo Designs. They were started in 2008. They wanted to create something that was functional, durable, and something that had a clear connection with the brand behind the product. Up until a year ago, I'd actually never even heard of a lot of these bad companies. I'd certainly never heard of Topo Designs. Some of the companies come from San Francisco, like Timbuktu, Waterfield, Dispatch, Peak Design. Others come out of Colorado, like Topo Designs. You got Track that comes out of Deutschland, which is Germany, of course. But to say there aren't a lot of companies making bags these days would be, you know, the biggest lie ever. From Bellroy to Haim Planet, to Tom Bin, Boundary Supply, Wandered, Air, Track. And that's me just really naming a few. There are so many companies trying to build the ultimate bag. It seems like every day I open a social media platform, there's a new Kickstarter looking for funding, trying to build that it, the next big hit of a bag. Our YouTubers Chase Reeves and Bowismono's channels are all about bags, pouches, finding that new favorite which is built like a tank that can carry all of your camera, editing equipment, tripods, lenses, dongles, clothes. So one of the bigger YouTubers, Peter McKinnon, actually just collaborated uh, with Nomadic on a new bag which was designed for a two to three day getaway. A bag that literally does everything, ticks all the boxes from protecting your Canon EOS R to expensive lenses. EDC or everyday carry is becoming very popular, that's not debatable. Kids don't want, you know, to be basketball players. They don't want to be police officers or firemen. They want to be digital nomads. Working from their laptops from a beach in Thailand being paid in Bitcoin. Uh. <laughs> they want their Peak Design carbon fiber tripod hanging off their Wandered Provoke. The 31 liter black version, of course, seems to be the most popular one with YouTubers these days. That stuff with Topo Designs, the Brown Buffalo or Trek pouches, Bellroy or Air Dock kits with wooden toothbrushes, roll-on deodorant because they're open-minded vegans that skateboard everywhere instead of driving a 4x4 that's suffocating Mother Earth. I actually think these kids are part of something very new and special, aspiring to work in an office, a suit and tie, wearing uncomfortable shoes is not something any of us want anymore. The dream is to work from a laptop, using a camera, Topo Designs messenger bag with a Peak Design tech kit inside, with the main compartment and a Camelback water bottle in tow, the one with a magnetic lid of course. I don't buy anything that comes in disposable plastic bottles anymore. Bellroy's actually making bags out of disposable water bottles now, so I think that's pretty exciting. I'm actually going to link the video right here if you want to see that, because I think it's pretty interesting. I'm going to talk about these very simple but colourful pouches that Topo makes. So they come with a tag attached that reads lifetime warranty, because they're built amazingly well. YKK zips, Cordura in a few different colors, and you have these amazingly simple pouches that you can really store anything in. There are three different sizes, and instead of them being large, medium, and small, Topo has decided to confuse the crap out of everybody and name them medium, small, and micro. So the medium is a large, the small is medium, and the micro is small. I actually really love these to the point that I use one of them as a wallet on a day to day with only three cards inside. I think if you put more cards in, you'd probably notice it or if you wear like mad skinny jeans, but with just my driver's forklift license, a bank card, I don't really even notice that it's in my pocket. I honestly can't believe no one's talking about the micro pouch on all the EDC channels or even on the bag channels. Um, everyone's talking about ridge wallets which don't really look that comfortable at all. They look heavy and hard and stiff. <laughs> oh yeah. I think it's just a matter of time till people actually catch on to these wallets. Also just some advice, you don't need to carry your whole life in your wallet in your pocket every day. The receipt for the TV that you 
bought like two years ago. It doesn't need to be in your daily carry. I actually encourage you guys to clean your wallets out once a week, maybe once a fortnight. Maybe some of you guys haven't done it in the last year or so. You know, less is more. Minimalism is dope. And the Topo Micro Pouch is absolute fire. But if this doesn't suit your needs, you know, you could always have a classic wallet for special occasions or a card wallet for the weekends. But on a day-to-day -day basis, I don't really know about you guys, but I just want something that I can ignore. And something you literally forget is there. If that's a problem for some of you guys, just chuck a small tile in there. You'll always know where it is if you lose it. Having a tile, you know, in your wallet is a great idea no matter what your daily driver is anyway. So yeah, I hope you guys learned something today. These three pouches are pretty amazing. And if you enjoyed this video and would like to see me talk about other pouches, backpacks, um, you know, let me know in the comments. Also, what are some EDC things that you guys can't live without? You know, maybe it's a Swiss Army knife or a, like a small rig camera tool, um, a space pen or like a Lamy fountain pen or, you know, the, the list is endless. It's, what are you guys running in your pockets? Let me know in the comments. I uh, always love replying to the comments. I always love looking at new bags, pouches and tech kits and dop kits and EDC items items and new tech so yeah i'm gonna leave it on that note guys thank you so much for watching um if you like this post make sure you hit that like button if you're not subscribed of course that would also mean the world to me they call me drizzlax here at og talk studios which of course is just the fancy name that i've uh, named my spare bedroom <laughs> i hope you guys like this video let me know if you want more content like this until the next time we meet it's your boy Driz signing out and uh, a river ditch.